Hey guys, it's Cody. I'm on day 85 of the Odin project. Today I did some basic styling for my forms for the final JavaScript project. And I also continued my data structures and algorithms learning strategy. The final JavaScript project styling is very basic, but let's take a look at it. We have over here the form for the add lexicon portion of the form workflow that I'm building. And so this is the first thing that the user is going to add for building a new lexicon. It's just the basic information for the lexicon. I added obviously a box with some background coloring so then we can actually see the text. And then I structured the inputs so that they actually all align in a very nice and neat column. Provided adequate space for each input and actually added another input for the description. And I also added this this title up here and this set of instructions right here. The description is going to be entered into the database as well and it is able to be entered into the database. If we look over here, I have the description field that I added, this form instructions, this form title. So this is just adding elements, very easy stuff. Addition of the description to the inputs array is really all I needed to do to be able to allow the user to enter that to the database as well. So this, this form works. In addition to that, I have my errors down here. I'm just keeping the styling very basic right now. I'm not going to do anything super fancy with those errors. That's pretty much it. So we see that with this new description that is also being cat caught for not having anything in it. So I do want something for the description too. And we see if I have the user enter information and they click this button, which is now spanning the entire screen that it will actually go to the next form, which I'll go into that in a second. But just a note, I don't have this completely optimized. Like I said, this isn't fully optimized UI here. There's gonna be some uh, overlap over here. So for sm small screens, it's not necessarily gonna work. So as we saw earlier, or when I submitted the data, it took me to the next form. And here we're gonna have the user enter in their sensory attributes for their lexicon. So a lexicon consists of sensory attributes and each sensory attribute should have at least one reference. So in this form, I have the sensory attributes information, and then I have the sensory attributes references information. And with the sensory attribute, have name, definition, modality, procedure, and then for each reference, reference name, preparation, procedure for evaluation, and the source, like where did they get the reference from? I'm not finished with how I wanna set this up. I may split this up into two forms for adding sensory attributes for this initial build of a lexicon. I do wanna do it one by one if there's gonna be this manual process so that they don't try to enter 17 all in on one page, one form, and then if their computer shuts down or something unexpected happens, they lose all that data and the time that they spent because it's gonna take a while to enter all that data in here. I'm gonna split this up by attribute. I'm probably gonna do a similar thing for the references for each attribute. I don't know if I'm gonna split that into another form or have some sort of dynamic aspect of this form for adding additional references. I, I think I'll make that decision tomorrow or the next day that I'm working on this. Um, I have some file, um, some inputs here that are specific to those two types of data that I'm collecting and I'm still using that styling, keeping it real simple and making sure that the user has adequate space for writing in these forms. And also if there's something larger like this, um, giving them the ability to move that. I might take that away and just make it a larger box. These two buttons down here are referencing that aspect of, I wanna have attributes submitted one at a time, and then I also want references to be submitted at one at a time as well, I think. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna have that workflow come out in this form, but I'm just have it there as a placeholder for now. That's all I have for the final JavaScript project. For the data structures and algorithms, I continued reading the Python data structures version three of the Python DS3 course and textbook online. You can look Python DS3 up and you'll find it. I'm not gonna go into exactly what I did because uh, it was really just reading the first two chapters of the book and it covered you know, what is computer science, what are algorithms, what are data structures, and then also how to do a big O analysis on algorithms. So that's all I have for today, guys. Tomorrow we will have our weekly update. I will probably not be doing a stream tomorrow because tomorrow is more of a day for doing that uh, weekly update and doing some other things you know, around the house and with my life. 
Be sure to check out that weekly update. Subscribe if you're interested in following mine and Emily's journeys into web dev. And I will see you guys tomorrow.